the, the owners of the company, and um, they are also in a functional position as a general manager. Um, we have solutions available for photovoltaics, mainly automation, and also for battery technology and medical engineering. Our headquarter is located in Berlin, um, in Germany, and um, we have also a global presence with subsidiaries in Taiwan, China, Korea, and USA. Um, we have a performance of turnover of around 100 million per year, and um, we deliver it, I think that we have the biggest, um, biggest experience in the market, more than 1,700 uh, 1, systems um, already worldwide. Everyone is looking for a fast return of invest. But also on the other hand, you need to have a good quality, which means you need to have a very gentle handling, and you have new um, requirements or new process steps which you need to fulfill with touching less the surface and so on to be able to reach these high efficiencies and implement the new technologies. Um, Jonas and Redman has a bright, bright, bright variety of products uh, in the whole line. So we start already from the inspection system here, WIS, which is a wafer inspection system at the beginning of the line. A wafer inline loader for web benches, wafer inline unloader for web benches, diffusion automation, laser automation, also for the new laser applications coming in. Um, for PCVD, and also we have this TwinX print line, which is from our daughter company, JRT, and at the end of the line, we have also the cell testing equipment. I would like to go now a little more detail to the different products. Here we have our wafer inspection system. This is an inline inspection, inspection system with the leading edge technology. We implant, implemented whatever is needed at the beginning, geometry, in the contour integrity, visible defects, micro cracks, can configure it with different uh, measurement um, tools as you like. We have one corporation here with Semilab to have an um, all-in-one system. We have at the end the classification and sorting of the wafers according to these criteria. And um, uh, we have a high throughput version here with 3,600 wafers per hour, which gives you the highest throughput, I think, in the market right now. We implemented um, very gentle wafer handling as we have only conveyor belts inside. We are able to reach very low breakage rates of 0.08, uh, sorry. <laughs> 0.0 would be perfect as a measurement tool, but unfortunately the technical size is very difficult. <laughs> this is um, our main product, the diffusion handling. Um, this is um, a new handling we designed. We have um, sold, I think, almost 1,000 of these tools in the market. Um, this is now the new generation. With this new generation, we all of our products were developed in a way that we used our proven principles, which have been shown in the market already for quite a long time. And they are working very good. We have feedback from the customers that they are very reliable, and for us there's no need to change the basic principles. On the other hand, we need to find a way how to optimize it from the cost of ownership, and that's why we have been here able to reduce the footprint, um, and all our machines have now a very modular design that you can configure it whatever you need. So for example, in this tool, we are able to have um, different configurations like standalone. Uh, I will come to it later, but also we implemented that um, we are able to load the boards full pitch, half pitch, flexible transfer, so something between full pitch and half pitch, diamond or square orientation or back to back. So this is all available in this tool and can be config configured. Um, what is also getting more and more important is that you need to have measurement inside to keep your quality, to control your quality directly at each process step. And that's why we also integrated here, for example, the cheat resistance measurement, which gives you directly a feedback from your process tool whether your process is still stable or not. Coming to the flexible configurations, as I mentioned before, we did a modular design, which means with one basic tool, we are able to fulfill all the different requirements. We have uh, a WHD standard, which means you just connect it directly to the furnace and um, load the bolts directly. But with the high throughput we are reaching, which is up to 8,000 wafers per hour, we are able to um, load even two furnaces with one WHD, depending on the process, which gives you a higher efficiency from the cost of ownership. Um, there are also high throughput furnaces available. 
um, which are almost two furnaces back to back where you can <coughs> even place it together. And therefore we have this duplex tool which is able to load up to eight tubes. And the, what's getting more important, especially for Chinese customers, who are just starting with automation, to have the standalone tool, which means um, you load wafers from carrier in a boat, and then you still need to carry the boat to the furnace. But at least you have a way to replace the operators. And the operators, I mean, we all know in China it's getting every, anyway more and more difficult to find more operators. And um, with a machine, you are sure that the machine is always doing it in the same way. With the operator, it depends a little bit on, on the skill level, on, on the shift, and, and so on. The next uh, pro product we have, which is another product which we sold already several hundred times, is the WHP Wafer Handling Plasma. This is a tool for PECVD loading. Um, the PECD loading we also optimize regarding the footprint and also throughput, so we are able to run up to 4,000 wafers an hour with a high uptime of 98% and a breakage of 0.05 percentage. Uh, we also implemented in this tool, I mean, you know, the most critical part here of loading the silicon graphite boats is to load the wafers inside the boat, which is even not so easy for operators to do this. You have a high breakage there and a high risk of micro cracks. But with our tool, we, uh, have, we are the, have the ability to do it very gentle, which allows us to go to this low breakage rates. We also optimize the gripper technology that we are even more gentle in the handling right now. Um, and we are able to increase the efficiency because we can go up to um, 20 wafers per sections. There are different sections inside and seven sections per board, which are the biggest ones we know currently from the market, but it's all available in this tool. What is also more important here is now we're able to implement a sorting module for blue color class classes. For example, if you use a tool from EtherVision or whatever is available for blue color inspection, then you directly can sort it out by the different classes and put it later on in the process for printing. Um, the same thing we did here with the modular design because the same um, principle is used. Um, we have a WHP basic, which means you connect it directly to the furnace, um, and standard, which is for high uh, for higher throughputs, the way we included the buffer and the buffer and boat changer, which is an even higher throughput. This depends on your PC, PCVD process you currently use. We are also able here, or we have also developed a WHP standalone, um, where we can go up to 4,000 wafers. Same principle as before: you go, you load wafers from the carrier to the boat, and then the boats are carried to the furnace, which gives you currently in existing fabs the possibility to replace it because. We have not so much um, space inside and higher flexibility to use even more for necessity. Another product we newly developed is the wet inline loader and unloader. Um, here we did a kind of change because as somebody who might know our products from before, um, we were only using robot types, but now we change it to conveyor belts. Um, one of the main reasons is, first of all, you need to reduce the breakage rate and handling rob with robots going to higher throughput makes it more and more complicated because you need to have very fast movements, then the stress on the wafer is getting higher and higher. But if you use conveyor belts, then you have a very gentle handling. Actually, you don't put too much stress on the wafer, and um, then you are able to reduce the breakage rates. The other good point is that we don't need to touch the sunny side anymore. And we know from several customers that this is getting more and more important because the sunny side is very sensitive uh, for wet bench processes and this can cause some, some damage here. Um, also optional, you can integrate your measurement systems. For example, we have balance systems implemented for, in, uh, for texturization processes that you directly in line can control your processes. This tool is also available for five, eight, and 10 lane wet benches, um, and it has a quite small footprint. Another new tool we developed is uh, the laser handling. Actually, this is almost, yeah, it's also conveyor belt principle. Um, you can use almost every laser in, in, in between. We just use carrier loading uh, on the left and, on the, uh, and unloading on the right side. And then you, we use single wafer belts to transport it to the laser. And then we have a very flexible interface to put almost every laser tool inside. This can be used for the different processes like laser, fire, contacts, 
better read through their contact sites. And I think uh, the most important one is right now selective emitter, where we see a lot of implementation of selective emitter. Um, this tool can run up to 3,600 wafers per hour with 97% uh, 90, uptime and a breakage of 0.08%. As I mentioned before, uh, we have also a daughter company called JRT, which is located not in Berlin, it's close to Freiburg. And um, here we have a printer available and to deliver, uh, developed a new tool, the Twin X tool. This printer um, has a little different technology than you know from from uh, the common printers, we use a little different screen procedure, how to lift the screen, how to um, put it on, on the wafer. And with this technology, we are able to have a very low breakage rate. We have no problems even to use both wafers, to print both wafers. And we are able to get a very high precision of plus minus 10 micrometer, which is very important for the selective emitter implementation. Um, with this tool, we also developed a high throughput tool um, because this, this tool can run up to 4,000 wafers per hour with a breakage rate of 0.1%. The last one in the, in the line, in the production line, is the cell tester sorter. I mean, we also need to provide a fast cell tester sorter for the metal line, but this tool is also available as an offline tool, or you can put it in line, the same modular design as before. And this cell tester sorter um, can be used um, up to 4,800 wafers per hour. And you can, with this modular design, put together whatever measurement steps you need. So for example, here you see a configuration where we have an offline tool built by magazines. Then we have um, three different sections for measurement tools. And then at the end, we have a sorting module, which can also be adjusted based on the number of sorting modules you need. We can go from 48 and then always plus eight bins um, here in this case. And with the high throughput, you also need to find a good way how to sort the wafers in the bins. And we also developed here a um, um, simulation to, to find the optimum way that you don't need too many bins, but you still can um, sort it in your different classes you have. This tool is also equipped with an MES connection based on the SEMI standards. All our tools uh, are available with MES connections. And I think we have here the highest throughput in the market. Actually, this was the short introduction of our Jonas and Redmond products. I thank you for your attention. And if you want to have more information, please visit us in Hall E3, booth number 317. Thank you.